Morning all. Um, as Lisa's on payback duty today and tomorrow, um, I'm going to be starting doing the uh, the bench out here in the boot room. As you see, this little area here is going to have a bench, um, but it's not a conventional bench in the fact that um, I would make it freestanding, but with all this business in the end, um, let's get the Christmas decorations out of the way, shall we? Um, and the dogs will be running out right madly at the moment, I suppose. I might put their new bed in here so they can have somewhere to sit. But we've got lots of uneven ground um, and so a conventional piece of furniture, a conventional bench, pew, whatever you want to call it, is not going to work. Um, so I am planning on building something that it will be fixed to the wall because then it makes it more stable. Um, Lisa wants storage in it, so it's practical as well as um, aesthetically pleasing and also um, usable as a bench. So let's, what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to put my laser on it, put my laser line um, to see where the levels are, um, and then probably build a framework at the bottom, and then I can add a supporting brace at the back to maybe one, one sort of same level as the sockets there, which should be sensible. I think that's around about a reasonable height for the bench to be so I would sort of start it just after the socket there around about here come out there and so we can use those sockets we can still use those sockets underneath a small um, table or something at the end there but let's have a little measure up um, and then we'll tell you all about that and then we'll start building something It's windy, it's really, really cold, it's wet, it's horrible. I've just come back from the farm working for a day and Ted's been working, I hope, in here. I can see a little food. I'm home, baby. Hello. Hey, oh, wow. Brilliant. I weren't expecting, uh, I weren't expecting that. What were you expecting? Well, I didn't think you'd get that far. Well, it's not really Oh, look, Bess is coming to help. Not really that far. But well, it looks like all the frameworks in. That's brilliant. Well, you know, pretty much, yeah. It's, uh, you know, there's, uh, it's, it's, uh, coming along. It's, you know, the framework. Let me just put this bit in and then there's this bit where I have to hold and find me screwing and realise that I haven't got a screw and go, oh, bow, I haven't got a screw. What are you doing, Bess? You've been helping Daddy today. Hey, what's down there? You've been down there a couple of times, haven't you, little one? Well, you've been down to the cab. Um, yeah, last one, sorry. Last one. Belt braces as always. There's more metal work in here than anything. Uh... Right. Okay. Hello. Hello, baby. Have you missed me? I have. It's been... Uh... It's been quite quiet. Apart from this, I think we had two phone calls and a fella turn up. Two phone calls I didn't get to, 
but I just, I've, in the distance, you know, you vaguely, because I'm in a workshop and the phone rang, and I think it was the same person. I've got a feeling I, they didn't leave a message, but the other guy turned up. And, uh, and I think he's been before, and he said, oh, are you open today? You know, like in French. Yeah. And I caught the overt bit. And I go, oh, Desiree, you know, like, we, we are shut now, you know. Um, um, only the Christmas meals are a Pass Noel. And, uh, hey, oh, blah, 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 blah. And he said, uh, and then I think he said something like, we'll see you in the new year or something. Like yeah. That. You know, I don't know, so... But, uh, no, I'm sure he'd been before because I recognised the car. Yeah. And it's yeah. going to be fairly, um, you know, fairly straightforward. It's not going to be massive. But get your head out. Um, <laughs> it's good because it's it, because it's got to reflect the area. So I'm going to not do it very, you know, it's not going to be terribly ornate, but it's going to be nice and old and dark and, and that's it. We're going to make it. We're going to try and get it like that. But these, each individual seat, so you've got three seats, and then with the fourth one at the end, and they're going to be a little bit higher than this, but this is quite, you know, unpleasant. A little bit higher than this, messy boo, messy boo. So I need to have a good sort out of my uh, fabric. Yeah. And um, we've got some foam, so. Oh my God, we've got the phone that Debbie and Pete brought over that I haven't yeah, unwrapped so yet. Can, you can do that. I yeah. Know, it would be nice. So if you do the seats. One, two, three, and then a long yeah. seat there. And what I'm planning on doing here is replicating the end that I'm going to do on there. On that other I'm going end. to make an end for that and make an end that I will infill in this area here. Well, it's come along really well, baby. I'm pleased with it. So, yeah, so it, it, it's doing all right. You know, and as I say, it'll probably be, you know, more likely it'll be, for, you know, you could probably get three people on it. Yeah. Just to be, you know, and I, because I didn't want to make it, and the nice thing is, is the plug points are still accessible there. It's at the height that once the, the seat is on, it will be a nice height to sit at. And hopefully you'll have that storage for boots or whatever. Yeah. And I think the other thing to do, He's possibly put, um, you know, some kind of affair there. You know, I know we're going to put the fridge freezer there. Well, we will put the fridge freezer there. But I think... We're not going to put it there now, though. No, we? We, it's going to go in. You know, because we thought we were going to... Ha we thought we were going to use it for Christmas, going forward. Yeah. But, we d you know, it seems to, things seem to be working out as is. And so what we'll do is... What I'll do is I'll make something like some kind of shelving unit or, or just, you know, that's where you hang your coats. Yeah. You know? like, the only thing is, is obviously there's two plug points that they're, they're going to yeah. be redundant or we can use them for something else, but what, well, I don't know. That's good though, baby. Well done. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, that's the start. There's going to be another, uh, I'm going to put another batten up about here, which will take the back. So the back will be slightly away from the thing. And then, so tomorrow, there's just a, a couple of little bits of the framing to do, and then I can crack on with the rest of the actual seat. It's good. I'm looking forward to it. Well done, baby. Okay. Would you like to know what I've been doing? What have you been doing, darling? <laughs> I've been watering walls. Huh? We've done two-thirds of that other wall. Well done. So um, I reckon tomorrow, if I go up there tomorrow, spend the day with them tomorrow, I reckon we'll finish that other wall. Well, that's good. That's good. That, that means that... Um, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's all about, and I was like, you know, it, it's nice that we can give back. Um, I know we're going to give back an awful lot, and but they have given so much to us. It's so lovely for you to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's been a good day. What do you reckon, Bess? What do you, what do you want to do? Do you want to do anything or just be an utter pain in the bum? Are you just loving Daddy? Are you being out of phone? Don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. Where's Hansie? Oh, oh, oh. Hansie's sleeping cuddle? on his bed. Oh, cuddle. Oh, no cuddle. Oh, no cuddle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bessie boo. Bessie boo. Right, I'll go and get dinner on, baby. Oh, lovely. Oh, I'm proper hungry, I think. I'm there, I might partake of a little... A pair of teeth. A little pair of teeth. A pair of teeth. Okay, I'll go and sort it out. Go on. Okay, so the um, all the um, 
framework we've done for the for the settle for the uh, boot room seat. And I've been covering myself in sawdust to make these things. Uh, this is the panel, this is the back panel. This goes all the way through and it's all um, inset panels, inset rails and styles I think they call them. The styles at the top there. And these are mortise and tenon and I'm just gluing this up ready to fit over the road. Um, there's this, this big one, which goes the full length of the seat, and then the return, which is the one over here. So that's the start of the panel, and then Obviously the base piece goes on the bottom, like that, and that will be the return panel. Oh. So we'll glue all that up, and the next stage will be just dry fitting them in the room, having a look and see to make sure everything's alright. If I'm happy with everything, then I come back, I will then be scorching these i won't be burning them full tilt i'll be scorching them just to get them the dark color then i'll be staining um, and then i may well um wax over the top i don't know yet depends how what the color of the stain comes out i like the stain when we wax it because it goes really sorry when when i burn it because it goes very very dark and that's what we're after is something that no. so that's 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 where we are now um yeah Come back for the next Time to do a bit of scorching. So this is a welcome site, somebody working um, on the renovation, just uh, going to show you, sorry for my shadow in the way, but there's that rather large fissure yeah. in that stone. Um, and you're, I presume, cleaning out the stone ready to mortar this, are you? Yep. That's um, the usual stone. Yep. Back to renovation work. Back to renovation work. And, and, and you're sporting a rather lovely set of overalls. I am. My new Christmas present. And I bought you that because <laughs> there's your Christmas present. But hang on a minute. Before anybody says anything out there, just watch what this. What do you want for Christmas, Lisa? Well, I don't want jewellery. I don't want shoes. And I don't want a handbag. What I really, really want for Christmas is a set of overalls. <laughs> well, it's easy. At least it's easy. I'll be really happy with a set of overalls. Still... So look at the way she's dressed now today. Yeah, but this is my good clothes. Yeah, this is going out clothes. <laughs> so these are really nice. And they've got pink on them. Yeah, and they zip all the way up, so they're brilliant. They'll be good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Christmas present, baby. Okay, darling. Thank you. So yeah. there you go. So there you go. So that that just proves the fact that I lit. Well, somebody asked for the stuff. Yeah. So that's good. <laughs> and, and you know, like this is the thing. You know, regular presents, whatever. You know, differences in. Yeah, most women ask for perfume and uh, handbags. Well, go. Yeah, I'll leave so, you to it. Yeah. So. so what I'm doing is last wall to clear out, and then tomorrow, hopefully. Nice weather comes and I can start watering this wall and then that's all the walls in here done. Brilliant. Okay, I'll leave you to it, darling. All right, baby. So you join me once more in the boot room. Um, this is the, the set that is. Um, it's all... The panels um, are all made and now burnt and coloured and they're all 
in situ. I've done the top cap here, which is just a bull nose bit of floorboards, and then chopped in round the back there. So that's all done. The seats are done, and it, as you see, they're not hinged on yet, but again, made out of the floorboards. And I've left, I've burnt the outside so I didn't warp them too much. And then Lisa is going to cover those. These are going to be now um, hinged on because each one is a box. All it's all been painted inside. It's a big seat at the back. So the I the job today is to fashion the ends. So this one here is going to be right down to the floor. This one. I've got to be careful I don't fall down the bloody steps. This one on this side is going to be just to the little wall that they, the girls built when they were, were doing this before. So it's just going to be down to there so it shows off that little bit of wall there. Um, so three step process. I'm going to get a lump of cardboard and draw out my design offer it up make sure i'm happy with it then i will make out of cardboard i will make a template which i'll use to route the main piece of wood i'll use it as a template so i could as like a guide um with uh, um a bush on the on the router but i'll show okay, you okay so that. i've cleaned out all the stone um brushed it all out dug it all out brushed it down Moved out all the uh, cracks and crevices to make sure there's no dust in there. Now I've been loaned, a lot of people have said, why don't I use a mortar gun? The reason is, is that I, I actually just really like the technique that I've got using my hands. But with this ball, there's a lot of small stone and a lot of small gaps. So um, some friends that we've met through the tea room, we've met so many contacts through the tea room, but Steve and Julie, who live about 20 minutes away, Steve has loaned me his mortar gun so I can give it a try. Um, my concern is that doesn't hold much water. I have a lot of water to do. So the time it's going to take to keep on filling this gun up. And also it's going to have to be quite a loose mix, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, but I'm going to give it a go anyway and see what it's like because it might be a lot cleaner. And although it's going to take more time using this and refilling this, it will then possibly take less time brushing it all back. I don't know, but we'll give it a go anyway. You may see in a few minutes, I'll revert back to using my hands, but let's, let's give it a try. Okay, filled up my gun. Um, I don't really know where to start, but uh, let's just see if we can... See, that's the thing. My hands just don't have the strength to be able to even push it out. No. Try and loose a mix, but I don't want to try it too loose. Okay, so I've done a loose a mix. Um, let's give it another go. Ah, so that's coming out, but that is a really loose mix, which means that's going to take a really long time to dry out. And it's still really hard to get out. Yeah, it's all the water out of the mix and not the mix. Right, well, thank you, Steve, but I don't think it's going to work. Back to the good old hands, I'm afraid. So we're back in the workshop and we've done the, uh, the profiles for the end of the settle and i'm just gluing up some wood that i've found these are the old bed slats so the scaffold boards out of our old bed um that i changed up and and they were about the driest and straightest wood i could find um so this is the this is the one to the left and this is the one to the right the big one um as i say i've got little 
cardboard profiles that I made up and sort of scribed in as 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 much as I want to scribe it in. And then um, I've made wooden profiles so I can do some routing, which I'll show you so, now. Um, I've come in to show you the profiles. These are the profiles that I've made. So first cardboard profile because these are cut. And then I've used this as a couple of bits of old MDF that I had, not MDF, uh, chipboard. Um, and that's the, the right hand end. And the left hand side is here. Made again about have a bit of old plywood. But as you see, there's a bit of scribing in. And I've scribed it in as much as I kind of want to um and that will go along with the glued up sections that i've just showed you and we'll route that out and we'll make it uh, so it's nice and smooth and uh, nice and regular and then we'll do some fancies on the edge um i will probably it'll be a lot of mucking about because this stuff that i'm using for the end caps is 35 mil thick Whereas this is only 18, so double the thickness, and they'll probably need a lot of mucking about. So, everything's done, well, all the seating's done, so these are the seat pads, and these are the ones that will be hinged, so the box is underneath, but we need to put the hinges on. And I found, in our uh, lovely Luama uh, shop that we like so much, um, these lovely little hinges and they're German really pretty but do you think I could find some little pan head screws to go in there to finish them off black ones no I couldn't so I've had to paint the heads of some countersink screws which is because I've got all the same ones and there's 50 of them I actually need 48 but Let's always do it over the top so you don't have to do anymore. And then I've made myself a little jig. So all the hinges will go in the same place. That's the idea. So there's two hinges on it. Um, and that will all ready now for somebody to put... Uh, The seat pad on. I reckon if you have your pins at about 40 mil, so the edge of your pins running down at 40 mil. Okay. What do you reckon? Yep. The only thing, obviously, you've got a slight angle on this, so you'll need to cut it at a slight angle because that that's the there's, there's angled everywhere. So do you just do 40 mil in from all the sides? If you do 40 mil in from all the sides, yeah, yeah. bear in mind, that one will be on yeah. that angle there. Right. Okay. Okay, so it's my turn now on the settle. Um, and I've got to cover the seat um, tops with their hinges. So... All I've done is, as you know, we've said this before, fabric uh, foam is really expensive. So we've bought these um, exercise mats, very thick exercise mats, and that should be plenty. It's memory foam, so it's really good, and they're only 10 quid, and that should do me for the whole seats, um, all of the seats. So I've marked 40 mil in where I want the foam to be, and I've cut my foam out to match it, and then cut my fabric out to go over the top. And then I'm just gonna fold, um, I'm hoping I've left enough, yes I should, um, fold the insides in, staple gun it in, and then put some beading around the outside. So um, that is the plan. Now I can't f on this, sorry. I can't mess up on this, because um, Ted will do his nut. So um, yeah. I need to uh, be very careful and make sure I get it right.
Now I bought some different beading. Um, this is much darker. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's much darker anyway. And um, and I think look will look much nicer with the the dark wood. Um, and be in keeping with where it's going. So I don't know if you can see beading. And what happens with this is that you have a nail hole every, I think it's every five. Um, so you don't have to hammer in every individual little nail. So you lay this down and it's very pliable. So you can twist and turn it. You can even just break it off when you get to an end. Um, but it saves you so much time. So that's just going to go around the edge. Okay, so the seat's all now finished, it's time to put them in place. Voila! I think they look amazing. I'm so pleased with them, they look fabulous. And once we get curtains up in here, and all the decorations, some pictures on the walls, it's going to look spectacular. Superb! And I can't wait to uh, start using me... Um, little cupboards so Ted's just got the ends to finish now and um, yeah this piece of furniture will all be done I think he has done just such a fabulous job on it it's amazing um, yeah really really pleased with it let's go and see what Ted thinks hey what do you think then baby well, that's amazing isn't it? you like it yeah I think it looks really brilliant it's uh, very posh. <laughs> I can't get over how posh it looks. It looks really amazing, you know, like considering where it is, you know, it looks too bloody good for this place. <laughs> Not this, this, you know, this boot room place, you know. So the boot room is finished! Ta -da. Ta -da. Another room ticked off the list. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's so good. Where do you the think? majority of it is. Is uh, the downstairs down there? It is, yeah. But when you think of how we started this room, it's extraordinary. Dirt floor, horrible old beams. Ooh, very, very cold. It's just an unusable room, isn't completely it? Completely unusable. You know, it was just literally we just stored stuff in it. You know, because and we threw it in there when we were doing stuff. You know, decorating or whatever. Like it just got thrown in there. And um, but I think the befores and afters are great. When you think, like you say, the dirt floor to dirt what floor, it looks like now, the stone, stone floor. floor. And so many people have said it just <coughs> looks like it's been down for years. Yeah. Which is lovely. Even the steps, you know, putting the steps yeah. in. Yeah. It looks great. The walls, the ancient All door the now there. just looks fabulous. The only thing is, it looks too good. <laughs> I think, that, yeah, that's the trouble with that, is that that does look, yeah, like it hasn't, hasn't been there forever. But it has. But, but it has. Uh, you know, even down to the coat yeah. rack and then obviously the settle. Yeah. The settle is just amazing because, again, that makes this such a usable space. In indeed, yeah. It's practical as well as, you know, hopefully aesthetically pleasing. And now we've got some pictures on the wall, pictures that we found here. Yeah. And um, the curtains. And it just looks it's so just lovely. It's just really, really lovely. It's, it's such a, you know, and that's the thing. It's a usable space with usable stuff in it. Um, and exactly what we wanted, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm Brilliant. really chuffed a bit, yeah. baby. Well done. <laughs> well, well done to done. you. Well done. Joint everybody. effort again. Yeah. That is great. Well, joint effort, triple effort, because obviously Charlene yeah, because doing the Yeah, because of dear form. Charlene <laughs> See you again soon. Yeah, Charlene Day in March. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, next week, it's Cracking On With The Part of Three. So come back for that. See you soon. Take care, everyone. Au Love you all. Bye. <laughs>We would like to say a huge thank you to all of our supporters, from our patrons to our GoFundMe donors, the people that are buying us a coffee on Go Buy Me A Coffee, and you, our subscribers, each week watching the adverts for us to give us a little bit of income each month. Even if it just adds up to a bag of sand, it all helps.
Yeah. 